How to use Brandmark Logo Maker? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Brandmark Logo Maker. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So basically, you must go to your Google or web browser and type brandmark.io. This is the official website. And if you don't know yet, Brandmark is an online logo maker for businesses and offers an AI-powered logo maker and AI-driven tools. Brandmark helps businesses create professional design assets, including logos, business cards, leatherheads, and more. Okay, It has some pros, like Brandmark features AI-powered logo tools, the Logo Maker tool is very user friendly and easy to navigate. Users do not need to log in to use the Logo Maker. However, an email address is required for the purchase receipt. Each logo purchase includes full copyright. Brandmark offers unlimited revisions, including after purchase. The designer and enterprise packages feature social media, business card, and leatherhead designs, as well as a brand style guide. And the site features a tool for color and font tips. Okay, that's Brandmark. So I've been scrolling down in order to show you a little bit of it, but obviously we are going to try to use it. This is really easy to use. Uh, because the interface is really friendly. So by now I'm going to show you the price because that's important. So there are three packages. The basic, you just have to pay one time $25 and you're going to be able to download your logo files in PNG format. But if you try the designer, this is what they are recommending here, just $65 one time, you're gonna have all these features, logo source files, brand style guide, businesses, car designs, Facebook cover, profile and app icons, and leatherhead designs. And obviously if you are an enterprise, so all these features and up to 10 fully original concepts created by their design team. Okay, you can click here if you want to see the sample assets. So I don't know, perhaps I would like to try these logo files and social media. Let's see what we have. So here in social media, we have these examples. Some of these are really cool. And in the logo assets, so perhaps they are trying to use this Omni. So they are so they are showing you these different options of your logo and the different formats that you're gonna receive there. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our home page and just click on create my logo. As I already read you before, you don't need to register or sign in, but if you want your receipt, you are going to have a, the login process, okay? So by now, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try it with WebWiz and there's logo solutions everywhere. I would like to try with this. Now, brand keywords. Enter a few words that describe your brand. So perhaps technology, mm, keyword solutions, mm, fast, this is fast, this is really clear too. I'm just gonna try with these four and perhaps, I don't know, perhaps like a thunder because of the yellow color of the logo that we already have. I would like to try with this, okay? And click on next. Now the color style, please select one color or color style. So you have different options here. It doesn't mean that, for instance, here in the dark, your colors are gonna be black, red, perhaps like uh, that, 
deeper red and an orange no just like the um, variety of colors or high contrast this is not just red blue and black this could be another three colors so by now i'm just going to select this vibrant why not uh yes with the blue i need it with the blue okay so click on next now they are generating some logos this could take a few minutes it depends of the name of your company what you have wrote in the keywords so let's check we have these solutions everywhere i would like to try this okay with the blue at the bottom as a background okay I didn't see any thunder yet. Let's check if I found one that I really like. Three more and see. Oh, I like this. I like this too. Why not? I like this too. Okay. Perhaps by now my favorite one is this one. I don't know why. So if you select this, I'm going to click there. Okay. You can scroll down and see how this looks in some mockups. Perhaps the brand colors that they have been using. Okay. But you can edit this if you don't like it. So I'm going to click on edit. So obviously you can switch the name, the slogan, the icon. So by now I would like to try or no, I, I'm not going to try any specific. I'm just going to show you the features of it. So you can switch the font size, the letter spacing. Okay. It perhaps you want your text more to the left or to the right. Okay boldness let's check what is this okay like the thickness of it perhaps like this line space oh i pre i guess this is if you have different like words here okay but by now we are not needing this and the top okay i'm gonna let it on zero the color too because they have just colors but as I already told you I want just one in the yellow tone because this is really specific I'm gonna click on save and now you have this different part and the transition I wanna want it to be a little darker and this one must be a more clear Okay, let's save it. You can say switch the font too. So you can switch be perhaps a playful, classic, modern or handwriting. So I'm going to try with the playful. And let's see what I have here. Mm hmm. There are some really cool fonts. And I'm really like shocked because this is a free website. So by now I'm going to use... Let's try with this. Okay. By now I'm going to let it like this. The slogan, solutions everywhere. So you can switch the color to. And the same features. The icon now. So this is my icon. The WV. But I can select some icons. You can type a word if you like. So I'm going just to write the thunder. Click on this. I want this. So you can move it in the top or left. Or I mean horizontal or vertical spacing. And also replace the letter. But here we don't have letter. The icon size if you want to. So right now I'm to let it here. And the color. Okay. Now the background. We have some containers, you can click there. So perhaps because this is related to YouTube, I could choose this triangle shape or yes, I'm going to just use it. The container says must be 
bigger. Oh, I don't like it now. Let's see if I can move it a little to the right. Perhaps a little smaller. Okay, like this. The background color would be like this. And this color Okay, I like it. And finally, the layout. So, I don't want to choose this because I know this is going to switch my logo, but I'm gonna try just to show you. Okay, so you can select all these different features. By now, I'm going to select this. Here in the name, the, let me see, line space. I'm going to put it a little bigger. And in the slogan, the font must be different too, perhaps the same that we have here. Yes, I like it. And that's it. That's the addition. So if you want to come back, you must click on this X and now you have your logo. You can click here on ideas if you want to view some other ideas, different colors with the addition that you have made. Perhaps you have a favorite one like this one. I like these colors, but this is on to you. Font ideas too, with the same material, but different fonts. Icon ideas, perhaps you are not sure about your icon. I like this, or perhaps the phone or this on. Eh. There are different options and layout ideas if you're interested in as well. But by now I'm going to just select this and just click on this and you can share or duplicate your product. Okay. So obviously if you click on purchase, you must to be able to buy at least this basic program for $25 just one time, lifetime. Okay. That's it. So this is how you can use brandmark.io. This is really easy to use and it could help you with a big variety of ideas if you don't have like a strong knowledge in graphic design and so on. Okay, thanks for watching. This was all the tutorial.